Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So let's do a right algorithm and draw the flowchart for this question. Find the largest of the three numbers. Step one, as usual, is to start the program. Okay, so start. The next step is to input the three numbers which is given to us. So input, um, I'm going to name it as ABC. So input A, B, C. Okay. Now we are going to put in some conditions in order to check which is greater than all the among the two, among the three. Okay. So I'll be checking each one by one. If A is greater than B, then go to step four else go to step whatever is the last step that's going to be written here so let, let's write the next step if a now we have to see we already checked if a is true then we'll have to check it if b it is great a is greater than c also what i mean is if a is 3 b is 2 c is 1 then a is greater than b right that is solved now we have to check if this is greater than this also right so if a is greater than c then go to step 5 else go to step let's write that at the end whichever is the last step once we complete the algorithm only we can say which is the last step to be given in each of the following cases okay so what will be the next step if this is, is this, if this two cases are true, we'll have to print it and then we're done with it, right? So print A is largest. To print a statement, it has to be every time in quotations in Python language in programming basically. So for algorithm also, you can write it like that. Okay. And uh, after printing, you can go to, then go to step last one which is top which we don't know how many steps more do we have to write so we'll write it at the end sixth one now since this is true let's check if this case is true like if b is greater than c or not then go to step now see since b is greater than c we don't have to check if again a is greater than b or not if this isn't true it's going to come straight to this step okay so here it is going to be step six fine so if b is greater than c then go to step seven the next step is in order to print B, right? So print B is largest. Okay. Now the A step. Now if this case isn't true or if it is true, then print C is largest. And the last step would be stop. Okay, now let's fill in these steps so that we get a proper idea. If this is true, then go to, here also we have tried that, then go to step 9, which is the last step. Now here we don't have to specify it because the next step is that. Here also step 9. Uh, if A is greater than C, then go to 5, else go to step 6. Uh, no, go to step 8, which is printing C. So this is the algorithm for this question. Now let's draw the flowchart for the same. So first step is start. Okay. Next step is to input. ABC. In the next step, we have a decision being asked. Okay. So the decision would be in a parallelogram. So if A, what's the case? A greater than B. 
that will be two conditions right if if it is true or if it is false if it is true then what happens then go to step four okay so if it is true then go to the next step so i'll write yes here yes then next step is again to check if it is greater than c also okay now let me write the no statement to no means what does it tell us to do else go to step six okay so for now let's just leave this no part idle we'll just solve the first yes yes part and then we'll come back to no that's the best part that's always a good way to write a flow chart so after this step then go to step five which is to print that a is largest if this is yes then you can print a is largest or print a basically okay so we're done with the first case and then go to step nine let's just hold it for a second right now uh the sixth step uh, step is the next thing if b is greater than c let's try that if b is greater than c if it is yes the next step if it is uh we'll write the other side if it is a yes then print a uh, sorry print b okay leave the no right now and then uh, it is to print okay now we'll go back to the step thing uh, we had stopped here go to step six let's just join it if it is a no let's extend this line step six is this one so if it was a no then we're supposed to go to this step sorry no okay now after that if a is written then go to step eight uh, they're asking us to go to step yeah they're asking us to go to step 8 which is to print that c is greatest right so from the fourth part which is basically this if it is a no then print c that it is greatest okay and then after that um, print a is greater go to step 9 basically to stop it so we can end it here stop and then put down the arrows this is the most efficient way that we can solve it um, then here also go to step 9 this is a flowchart and the algorithm if you have any doubt to ask me uh, ask to me in the comments I'll reply to them and so this will be the last video for the algorithm and flowcharts if you want any other questions to be solved you can put that question in the chat uh, in the comment basically and i'll be starting the new chapter which is heading us on to the python like about the string list etc we'll be starting it the basics of python so till then thank you and take care bye bye